So like many of you out there, I'm very familiar with eating a surf and turf meal, but I've never actually had a surf and turf pizza. And that is exactly what is coming your way on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning. Chef Moira joins us right here in the kitchen for something different, Moira. I like this. No, I, Where did the idea come from? Well, you know, this is all about the man. You know, November month is really uh -huh. important. And I thought, uh -huh. let's do something for the man at home. Um, and this pizza, uh, men love meat, love beans. Love, love pizza, so I thought let's combine it. And this recipe stemmed from a, a tapas recipe that I had, okay. um, and it's combining chorizo sausage and lightly coated um, calamari. Oh, wow. And then obviously to add in the beans for that Jeez. extra meatiness and, and, and texture. And, and, and solidity. That's Can I say, solidity to the pizza. <laughs> well, because you okay. want, when you eat a pizza, you want you to have tummy full. That's you know? it. And, exactly. and this, is, this pizza really does that. All right. All right, so as soon as I can see you're getting on really nicely with my onions and my chorizo there. They're looking what we amazing. did there was we just put a bit of olive oil in, some onions, some garlic, right. and then the sliced chorizo. I like to use a spicy um, chorizo sausage. Yes. I think a lot of flavors come out there. Right. So you really just saute it until a little bit crispy. Yeah. And then we're going to add in um, some pizza sauce, or okay. um, you can use any type of. This is a pizza and chili sauce. All right. All right. Which you can or buy a at tomato your, and chili sauce. That's your say? supermarket, yeah. Yes. All right. All Listen right. to that sizzle away. And then what I want to do is add some chutney just to balance out the tomato and, and the spices from the, from the um, chorizo. Okay. All right. And I'm just obviously using lovely, lovely. And you can use any chutney. That's it. All right. Um, if you want it to be a bit more spicy, you, add, you use a hot chutney. The hot chutney, yes. And then we're going to add in the ku kidney beans, the red kidney beans. Um, this adds a lot of texture and nutrition. Um, and I'm also going to add in baked beans. Um, baked beans and tomato sauce, you can add it in with the tomato sauce. It just adds an extra sauce. That's it. All right, and then you're going to basically bring it up to the boil. Um, and then reduce it again, yes. and we're going to pour onto the pizza with all the rest of the ingredients. All right. All right, and while, you, while you're cooking, I'm going to add some fresh coriander and some um, oregano. Perfect. Mm. A bit of green freshness in there as well. Oh, just bringing the whole Italian flair I together. think this is such a lovely idea, a surf and turf pizza. Well, if this sounds uh, like something you would try and make yourself at home very easy, SMS the keyword KU to 33728, and uh, we'll send everything your way so that you can have the recipe on hand. Just remember those SMSs do cost one rand fifty. All right. All right. So basically, um, we, we're reducing a little bit more, and we can start putting it on the pizza. Perfect. Well, right. I guess this guy is nice and heated through by now. Now, what I need you to do, you, obviously, you just get a normal pizza base at home. Um, you can buy them, you can buy them from the shop, or if you yes. like to make it, make a nice ciabatta type uh, pizza base. Okay. It's got a bit of olive oil in, makes it nice and crispy, nice yes. thin base. Because this is a, a quite a heavy topping, you don't need a thick base. Okay. And then uh, this one's pre-baked. Um, and we're just going to put the topping on and we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. Right. So, right. so here we go. I'm going to hold it for you. Let's right. see that's nice and nice and heated through now. And you want to just add in all the texture. You don't want to make it too soggy, so don't overfill it. Yeah. I know you guys like lots of filling, <laughs> but really there's nothing worse than picking up a piece of pizza and it falls over. You know what, then you resort to eating it with a knife and fork and that's just not the right way to eat a no. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So we, I think that's enough because we make two pizza, yeah. two pizzas from this mixture, and we just make sure we spread it. Don't go too close to um, the end because you don't want to make it the end soggy. You still need that that's little piece. It. But I mean, look how great that looks. That's it. Sorry, this piece is uh, way out of. Out I can of just see you're going to eat that. Mm. <laughs> Wow. You're making all our viewers very hungry right now. The spicy chorizo, what a great touch to the pizza, really. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add some feta cheese. Now, I love oh. feta. Um, and it just brings all the flavors together. It's really like a, a spanish type Mediterranean type dish, this with the yes. chorizo and, and the beans coming through. It's really wonderful. So there we go, bring in some color. And then I don't use grated um, mozzarella for this. I use um, slices, and you just dot that over. Which I think is nice. It also it's a different it's type rustic. of way. Yeah. yeah, it's very rustic and real manly. <laughs> <laughs> You're all in this See, November vibe. I'm all about November this month. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, and then and then basically what you're going to do is you you take your calamari and you dot it in between. And again, nice. you can use tubes or you can use strips. You, you whatever know, you fancy. Whatever yeah. you fancy. Um, and then. There we and go. Is that, and, and then that in goes the into the oven. Love it. At one what? One eighty. One eighty. A high temperature. You cook or two hundred. Maybe is mm. is a little bit better depending on your oven. If you've got a pizza stone, put it on a pizza stone or outdoors and on the Weber yeah. bra works fantastically. Um, and then you put it in for ten to fifteen minutes. I love it. Very um, easy. I yeah. love it. No, so okay, cool. So if you want to get your hands on the recipe once again, that keyword is KU. SMS that to three three seven two eight, and you could make this delicious pizza at home by yourself. Very very easy. And like uh, like we said earlier, it's a solid pizza. It's a man's pizza. Here's one more look at how we made it. 
Saute the onion and garlic, add chorizo and fry until crispy. Add ku baked beans, ku kidney beans and pasta sauce. Simmer for five minutes. Add herbs, chutney and seasoning. Spread onto pizza base. Top with calamari, feta and mozzarella. Bake for 10 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. And there you have it, a delicious hearty pizza right at your fingertips. Surf and turf all the way. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 and you'll get all the details sent straight to your phone on how to make this masterpiece of a pizza. Moira, this looks delicious. Thank you very, very much for sharing once again your idea with us. Pleasure, yeah. pleasure. I'm hoping everyone enjoys it. Moira, this is great because I can almost guarantee that your whole family will absolutely love this pizza. So why not treat them to this recipe today for dinner maybe? And I'm sure they won't be disappointed. That is a given. Well, also send us some of your pizza topping ideas. We would love to connect with you as well. You can send those ideas to food at expressoshow.com. We'd definitely love to hear what your family enjoys eating. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.